Hello lovelies, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. And if you guys are subscribed to us, thank you so much for su subscribing. Either way, we appreciate you all being here. Um, today, I wanted to show you guys a little fun thing that I decided to do for Easter for kind of like the more adults in my family because I like making fun crafts and I wanted to do something that the kids could kind of help me make as well. So I, with <laughs> Aurora and my son, decided to make these cute little bunny washcloths. So I got these washcloths on Timu and I'll link that listing in the description. Um, at the time I got them on sale. Um, they still are pretty inexpensive even when they're not on sale uh, on Timu. I will also link a Amazon link if I'm able to find them on Amazon for those of you that don't use Timu um, because I know some of you guys don't want to use Timu so I will try my best to give you an option for these but you can definitely also just use normal washcloths that you can find at the store um, it doesn't necessarily have to be these fluffy washcloths but I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> I made them um, in the colors that the washcloths came in so I have like a pinks and then I added just like pom-pom tails with the nose and some googly eyes and a nice pretty ribbon um, as you can see they are <laughs> coming off because I used sticky dots to put their stuff on so that they would, um, the stuff would come off and my family would be able to use them, use the washcloth. So, but this is what the bunny looks like all done. And so I'm going to show you guys how to make these. You can find these tutorials on YouTube. I did find this tutorial on YouTube. Um, so uh, there's like a whole bunch of them. So um, I watched a few different ones just to get an idea. So I'm not going to link that, but I will say um, I did find it on YouTube. This was not my original idea, but um, they're really simple to make. And as you can see, I made 10 of them because that's how many I needed. Um, so I'm just going to stack these little babies over here. And all you need, if you want to just make the washcloth um, without the little eyes and nose and tail, all you need is just one washcloth and one little tie. It can be any kind of tie. This is what I had available in front of me from my Timu haul. I'll, I'll link these little rubber bands too, just in case you guys want them. They're actually really nice. And they work really nice in my daughter's hair too. So, And they're like the... Um, no pole, which I like. So I'm going to move these guys over a little bit more so you guys can see the whole washcloth. So this is super, super easy to make. So you just start rolling the, the towel, the washcloth, um, whatever washcloth you want to use. You could definitely just go buy some cheap gray washcloths or brown, which would be so cute for bunnies. So once you've got it rolled, you want to keep the bottom corner down. And you're going to just fold it straight up like this. Make sure the ears are right here because this is going to be the ears. So then you're going to just make sure this little thing is round. And you're going to grab it towards the top and fold it over like this. Make sure everything's nice and straight. And then you're going to take your little tie. And you're just going to double tie it around to make the head. And then you don't pull it like I just did. I pulled it a little too hard. Um, so the nice thing is, is that if you do what I just did, it's easy to just, <clears throat> excuse me. I am so congested today. Um, it's easy to just fold it right back and then put a tie right back on it. So I'm just gonna use a new one cause that one's all curled up. I don't want to fight it. So there we go. And then you just make sure that the tie is even on here in the same place on both sides. Just ad adjust it a little bit if you need to. Make sure that folds right back over and then that corner goes in. And then adjust the top. So this one, I pulled the ear out too far. So. 
Y'all, I don't normally struggle with these. I made 10 of them. I don't know why I'm struggling so bad with this one. <laughs> Hold on. What is my deal? These feel a little... So this batch feels a little different than those. It's not as fluffy, so I'm not used to it not like fluffing up like it's supposed to with the other ones. So I'm sorry, y'all. But I thought these little washcloths were just the cutest dang thing. So... And who doesn't want a fluffy washcloth to like clean in your kitchen or your bathroom? So, and there we go. So then we have a nice little washcloth bunny. And then when you add the little stuff to it, it looks really cute. So I had to be careful with mine because like I said, I just used little glue dots that I had from something else I bought and they, the stuff slides off, so they're gonna go in little bags. So their little, hopefully their little pieces will um, stay on. And then this ribbon I got as a big batch ribbon from Tiru. So I just cut them in a, a 12 inch or one foot, and then I just tied them to the ear. So once you untie it, it comes off the ear. You pull the rubber band off. You take these little pieces off, which come right off. They take a little bit of fuzz, but it's not gonna hurt anything. And then you can use the washcloth. So that's how you make this cute little bunny. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoy making them for Easter or just for fun to send as gifts to your friends because who doesn't like little fun things sent to them as happy mail. But that's all I got for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.